Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is a request from one of my subscribers. He asked if I can make a video regarding unbalanced three phase systems. So here it is. Before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's begin. In unbalanced three phase systems, voltage sources like generators or transformers are generally balanced. The imbalance happens in the connected load. Therefore, most of the time, diagrams of unbalanced three-phase systems don't show the voltage source. When the value of the line-to-line -line voltage and the unbalanced connected loads are known, values of phase currents and line currents can be calculated easily. For our first example, let us solve the phase currents and line currents of the unbalanced delta connected loads as shown in the diagram. Using VAB, equal to 240 as a reference, we can write the three-phase voltage sources as follows. VAB is equal to 240 Cs, 0 degrees. And then, VBC is equal to 240 Cs, negative 120 degrees. And lastly, VCA is equal to 240 Cs, 120 degrees. Let us convert all these voltage phasors to their rectangular forms. VBC will be equal to negative 120 minus 207.85. And then VCA will be equal to 240 and 120. That will be equal to negative 120 plus 207.85. In electrical complex calculations, we use J for the imaginary part, but because SMAT Studio is a mathematics program, letter I is used instead. And then from the diagram, the impedances are as follows. Impedance AB is equal to 25 ohms. Impedance BC is equal to 6 plus 10.39 I ohms. And impedance CA is equal to 13.86 minus 8 I ohms. In delta connected impedances, the line to line voltages from the source is also equal to the phase voltages across the impedances. Therefore, we can calculate the phase currents by dividing the phase voltages by the corresponding phase impedances. So let's calculate the phase currents. So now we have the phase currents, uh, IAB is equal to 9.6 amperes, IBC is equal to negative 20 amperes, and ICA is equal to negative 12.99 plus 7.5 I amperes. These are all in rectangular form. So we need to convert all these to their polar forms. So this will be the corresponding polar forms of the phase currents. IAB is equal to 9.6 Cs, 0 degrees. IBC is equal to 20 Cs, 180 degrees. And ICA is equal to 15 Cs, 150 degrees. So these are the phase currents. Okay. So let us now calculate for the line currents. Calculation of the line currents can be easily performed by applying KCL at points A, B, and C. So, line current IA will be equal to phase current IB minus phase current CA. And then, line current B, IB is equal to 
line uh, phase current BC minus phase current AB. And then lastly, line current IC is equal to phase current CA minus phase current BC. So let's perform the calculations. So now we have the line currents in the rectangular forms. So all we have to do now is to convert these line currents to their polar forms. Now that we have the equivalent delta impedances, we can simply find the phase current by dividing the phase voltages by the impedances. And then, as, uh, as in the first example, we can find the line currents by applying the KCL at each point, A, B, and C.
Okay, so we have now all the line currents in polar form. So these are the answers. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. And if you like this video, please don't forget to share and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much and God bless.